Hey, what is up, fellow critics? I'm here, back at it with another reaction for you guys. So today we're gonna be checking out Beef, season one, episode four. Boy, last episode, a lot of stuff going on. Uh, definitely threw me for a loop. We see Amy; she's going through a lot with her husband. You know, freaking having screenshots of girls, and then she still catfishing Paul. Ends up meeting up with him and freaking kissing him. Oh man. And she also having problems with uh, Jordan trying to get her to stay on for five years. So that's the only way she can sell her company. So she's definitely going through a lot. We see Danny going through a lot. Uh, you know, he's trying to get his parents back to America, get him a house. And uh, now he doesn't have good credit. So he's actually going to try to scam the church. Oh, he's going to try to scan the church to somehow get that money. So, yeah, this is crazy. I definitely didn't see this coming. And, uh, wow, I'm pumped to see what happened next. So, before we start, guys, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see this full length reaction, check us out on Patreon. All right, let's go ahead and start it up. Thanks again for driving. Ubers were surging. <laughs> but with Port King, you can order someone to park for you. <laughs> you mean like the valet? Valet? What a dumb idea. I gave uh -oh. him his nickname, the Japanese disease. You know, it kind of sounds like, oh, you don't have to pull in. Oh, it's okay. Uh, you know, I don't want to block me. But... Oh. oh, damn. <laughs> Paul, I Mary. Yeah. I... Look, you didn't he, see he the ring? He's like a really good kid. And, um, come here. <laughs> <laughs> sure I can park here? Totally. You might get a ticket, though. <laughs> I was thinking I was gonna call that road rage lady and apologize. Really? So he was thinking about apologizing her to her. Whoa. Wait, so we can steal all this and pocket the church money? God is good. Amen. Oh. Babe, I got I it. Sweetie, the driver's gonna take us to a private jet. Uh, she sure. Come on, baby. Come on, Jimmy. Let's pick that Somebody damn down. girl up. Yeah. Well, lead us to Vegas. Jimmy, stop that, okay? <laughs> She really is going to Vegas. <gasps> Did you just drop this girl? What's up, Isaac? Sup, Isaac? Isaac Young, bitch. Get up, you bold legged fuck. Give me a front hug. <laughs> a front oh, hug. That side hug shit. Tip to tip. Come on. Dude, don't tip to tip. <laughs> Can I borrow your truck? What do you need my truck for? I want to see my girl in Vegas. <laughs> oh, she's she's going to Vegas. She hit you up for your credit card numbers yet? <laughs> no, but she did ask me for this dick. Yeah, I'll believe it when I see it. Yeah, I'm sure you saw plenty in jail. What you say? Oh, I'm oh, kidding. Hey, hey, it's okay. Hey, what, 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 <laughs> <laughs> it's a soft spot. Uh, oh. You guys want more? Yeah. yeah. Good. Oh, he's about to. Oh, he's about to get them messed up. He's about to take that truck and bounce. Yo, it's so crazy. He's about to go meet up with her, and she by herself. 99 finger massage, 10 of the best masseuses in the world, and they massage everything. 99? <laughs> 99. Doesn't that get tiring? Yes, it's exhausting. <laughs> That's why I have a zero <laughs> filter policy with my inner circle. If I had to fake it all day, I'd go insane. True. Mm. Right. There you go. Maybe she'll like hanging out with her. What? Oh, shit. I dreamt I was inside my mom. <laughs> well, that shit we took is still in the truck. Oh no. Damn. For sure. Oh, who's that? Oh, um, it, it's Ooh. just Jordan. Uh oh, she might be like, okay. Mom and I are having a sleepover. <laughs> Amy, I used your bathroom. <laughs> oh, that, that's great for me. What the hell? Oh, buddy. She about to message, Paul. Oh, snap. <laughs> you got her flowers and everything. If we're going to hang out, we can't do anything physical. I have a family, you know, so. Yeah. I wasn't even thinking about that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you are, dude. <laughs> He's like, damn. Do you smoke? Oh, my God. <laughs> you know, I used to. Why'd you stop? I guess I don't have the time or the space. Well, you got both right now. Oh, 
snap. <laughs> well, he gave me that nickname, Korean Johnny Carson. But Paul started calling you that shit after he died, when all that stuff about his temper and narcissism came out. Oh, damn. <laughs> Look at them having fun. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm. <laughs> 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 they silly. <laughs> Having fun. <laughs> oh, she can just have fun and let loose. Relax. You must be pretty rich to be living like this, huh? Well, I'm about to be. About to sell my business for $10 million. Woo. From plants? <laughs> <laughs> he works so hard for everyone but himself, and I see how unhappy he is. I think he's depressed. She's like, damn, we're kind of alike. When other people die, the game keeps going. But then when you die, it's game over. I think life's like that. <laughs> That's deep. That's so deep. Uh, nobody. I don't know why my phone's doing they about to <laughs> they about the gps them i gotta look for paul dude. we'll find that fucker he's around here somewhere paul <laughs> see we're looking let's <laughs> fucking make stupid. that money dude <laughs> just consider this a thank you um i feel like a whore <laughs> true i never lose I never lose. I know. It's all know. Paul's fault. Okay. Oh, he lost all the money. <gasps> he found him. Oh, now he shows up. Oh, hey, Paul. Paul. Get your ass over here. Yo. Hey. Are you oh, no. Kidding? Paul, get your phone. <laughs> I think I left my phone up in my room. You know what? I'll be right back. No problem. Oh, no. <gasps> Is he going back to the room? <gasps> He's going back to the room. They're going to run into each other. <laughs> that white devil talking. I have no loyalty. Oh, I don't give a fuck what you think. You're so parole. Oh, God. Oh, puking. It was in my room. Sorry about that. Okay. Oh, my God. Wow. I got the keys. Let's go. I got the keys. I do not want child services on us, all right? We're child hitting services. a fucking kid. Oh, damn. When you die, literally no one's going to care. Da oh. Shut your fucking mouth. Damn. I could fucking take you. Uh-oh. Get the fuck out of here. Still not going well. <laughs> what about that? Something crazy about that. Man. Looking good, though, with the new haircut. What the fuck? Oh, no. 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 That's so messed up. They're going to mess it up for her. And all of a sudden, this woman just starts honking at me from her fucking perfect white <gasps> SUV. Oh, no. Average consumer loves alcohol. <laughs> oh, she played it off nice. Oh. Oh crap, dude! You better make it. You're going to jail if you don't. I don't know why he's so mad about a truck. Oh, she putting two to two together. Oh, that's no, no, don't do it. Oh, not good, dude. Uh -oh. Your hands in the air. Fuck! Caught. Hands on your head. <laughs> oh, <laughs> just like that's what you get. All right, <laughs> that was the episode. Really good. Uh, we see uh, Amy taking Paul home and uh, she made sure not to get spotted by Danny ended up making out with him. So she didn't get spotted. Uh, but she was like, yeah, she told him like, hey, I'm married. You know, we can't do this and all this stuff. But Paul likes her and I think she likes him a little bit, too. But uh, she told him that, hey, you know, I have to go away for Vegas so we can't hang out and all this stuff. And I'm um, surprised that she actually was going to Vegas. But then we see Isaac and uh, Danny, and uh, they're actually going to use. Uh, so pretty much their scam is, I guess, to have the church take out a loan 
and then I guess for them to build all the stuff and then pocket that money for the <laughs> for the the church I guess so uh which is crazy but um so we see they're they're uh talking to Paul and they're like hey Paul you know Paul wants to go to Vegas to see her um and you know they're like hey we'll work with us with the church to help us do this stuff and then we'll go ahead and uh give you the money so you can go go to uh Vegas yourself and he was like no he ended up getting them drunk and then driving to Vegas himself we see Amy ended up going by herself because her daughter was like deceived out she did not want to go so her and George decided to stay home while Amy ended up going to Vegas by herself. She's, uh, you know, met up with uh, Jordan and all this stuff. And they're, you know, talking, trying to finalize, finalize the deal. And then she had to do it, uh, you know, like a, a, a panel she had to talk at and all this stuff. But she's sitting in a hotel room. She's pretty bored. So she decided to go ahead and text Paul. Paul texted her before a little bit earlier saying like, hey, I'm in the area. She texted him. She's like, all right, well, let's hang out. So they ended up hanging out. And uh, she told him like, hey, you know, no sex. We can't get physical, but they decided to hang out. They got high and they had a good time. They're chilling, jumping on the bed, talking, dancing, and all this stuff. They had a good time and you can see that they enjoy each other's company. And then we see Danny and Isaac. They're trying to call Paul because they got the truck. All their stuff that they took is in the truck. So they they're ended up driving themselves to Vegas and looking for Paul. They end up tracked his phone to the casino he was at and they're just they were trying to look for him and uh isaac wanted to gamble so they ended up doing that they got he got super drunk he lost all his money so they're sitting there trying to get food and uh actually they run into paul and they chase him down and they went all the way back up to the hotel room even even amy was on her way up there but surprisingly she beat them and got out before they showed up they uh you know went up there they took the keys from paul and they had a really bad outgoing pretty much you know they got into a really huge fight and you know they're saying hey we don't need each other and all this stuff and it was a really bad fight and so you see danny and isaac leaving and uh they actually ran into the panel that amy was on and then we see they did like <laughs> We see that, you know, Danny wasn't going to do anything, but Isaac scooped them up like, hey, no, let's get back at her. And they did. They actually got on the Q&A and asked her a question. They're like, hey, how do you feel about, you know, taking your car and, and beating your horn at me and doing all this stuff? And she played it off good saying, hey, these drunk people, security, come get them. And, uh, you know, they are actually... <laughs> punched the damn security guy spit in his face and they started running from security which is why would y'all do that and then we see that um the girl i forgot who she was one of the jordan jordan's like sister-in-law or something like that realized that possibly what those guys were talking about was the whole the the, the you know the hit and run situation running all the flowers and stuff the road rage incident and she was looking and it's like oh it's a white car that kind of looks similar to amy's car so she's kind of putting two to two together and oh she might think that actually was her because it was um but we see uh danny isaac running from the security guards and then <laughs> they were getting they were doing pretty well and they actually ran into some more cops and then they get in a, ended up getting arrested and then we see amy walk into frame and she was like, nope, not getting away. So just when you thought like, you know, it was, you know, cause just when you thought like, we see that Danny actually wanted to apologize to her. And, you know, I think they could have had a chance. Like, I think if he apologized to her, I think she probably would have, you know, accepted it because she learned a little bit more about him through, uh, through Paul. And she kind of understands they're kind of in the same boat, you know, they feel broken and then you know and depressed so i think they probably could have got along you know after he apologized and all that stuff but didn't happen and then also we see amy she actually uh agreed to you know selling the company and staying on for five years so man this is crazy i didn't 
It's definitely going a lot of crazy ways. I did not think it was going to happen, but man, great episode. Guys, let me know what you thought of the episode. Did you like it? Did you not? Let me know in the comments below. So thank you for watching, guys. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see this full-length reaction, check us out on Patreon. All right, guys, I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.